There are a ton of embroidery designs built into the Foff Creative 4.5 sewing machine and embroidery machine. So take a look through and see which designs you want to stitch out because I will tell you, this design looks so much better stitched out in thread than it does just in the picture. The information in this book will give you suggestions on which color to use and also in what order it's going to stitch. So I'm going to go over to the quilting designs. Now there's actually a separate menu for these. So when you come into the machine area, you've got, or for the designs, you have all the designs that are, that come with the machine. You have some mini designs here at the top, and then also the last tab at the top are the quilting designs. Now I'm going to select a design. I need to touch and hold for it to come in. The first thing that I do though is look to see which hoop comes up that this design fits in. So this design will fit in the 150 by 150 hoop. Now that's an optional hoop, but the one that I am going to use, and you just need to look at your hoop, this one's the 240 by 150. So I know it's going to fit, but I do have to tell the machine which one I am planning on using. And that way I can, then I can move the design a little bit around. If I try to put the this hoop on and not tell it which hoop I'm using, the machine will keep coming up a little message. It says, please attach correct hoop. Now, when you put your hoop on, just slide it straight. The little foot will hop over it. No tipping is needed. That's almost more work than you need to do. I've already got a design or a thread in the machine, but I do want to go ahead and slide it down to the bottom area. Then that way I can actually get it to uh, leave a little bit more room above. I can kind of do a, some lettering in a little bit. So once I have the design set, I'm going to go ahead and touch the, go to the embroidery stitch out. It asks for the hoop. So since I haven't put it on yet, it was ready for it and it didn't feel for a uh, hoop on. So just line up this opening here and then push hard right from the front center of the hoop. You want to hear that click. Notice I did not push down on this lever. The only time you'll see me push down on this is when I go to release it. But when you put your hoop on, make sure you do not touch that. It needs to click in to that exact position. Let's go ahead, touch that message again. Try going over to the embroidery stitch out. Oh, you know what? I picked the metal hoop. There is two choices here. Uh, the 240 by 150 master hoop and metal hoop. They looked really similar to me here. Uh, one more time, go to embroidery stitch out. And so again, making sure that you don't make a mistake, this machine is smart. So you do see that there are two color areas of this design, but I also want to see where is it going to stitch in the hoop. This is a good practice to do and make sure that you are um, stitching where you think you're stitching. Select the design positioning and this place you can actually see where your design is going to stitch. Great way to just double check. Remember, you don't really want to have to take out embroidery stitches if you don't have to. Here's how it's going to work. You notice that in the first column, the number one column, there is a place where I can pick a position on the screen. And then when I click on the hoop picture, it actually moves my needle to that exact position. So if I want to, I can go ahead and go around all four corners and just see if I am in the vicinity. Make sure I'm not stitching over something or getting too close. I can see everything where I want. Now, if I needed to move this up a little bit, if I move the design, that needle is that point. And it's really easy to make sure that I get it exactly where I want it to be. So let's just go ahead. We'll touch the check mark to confirm it. To, to get started, just hold on to your needle thread, push the go button, the one that has the play and the stop feature on it. If you count to three, one, two, three, you can lift the thread you're holding on to out of the hoop. The bobbin thread actually, or the cutter's actually down in the bottom area. So that's actually cutting it for you. So what it's going to do is it's going to stitch all the light area. It will stop. And then I'm going to change color and put a second color on. So we'll kind of have a two-tone uh, color of a quilting design. Now, if I didn't want to, I could set this machine to stitch it all in one color, like a monochrome feature, and then it wouldn't stop in between. It would just stitch from color one, the first stitch, all the way through color two, and the last stitch. You do see information regarding the stitch count of this design, how many stitches it stitched in the first color, and how many total stitches are in this design and what it's up to. Even a little counter like it's showing me I've got about a minute less left in this design. 
to finish out. So if it says 20 minutes, you know you're going to be waiting for a little bit. The message comes up to change color. Now, if you're not going to change color, that's okay. You can just go ahead and push uh, the start button. You do not have to click this off. So just push start if you want. But I am going to re-thread. Uh, the thread has cut even though it looks like it's still attached to the fabric. If I just swipe my stylus across, I can see that. Now, once again, I do like a thread stand, uh, something that sits beside your machine or on the back of it, if you've got a multi one, then that way I don't have to keep putting on the spool cap. Uh, that little spool cap tends to run away from me a little bit. Now, I am going to hold this thread, give it a little floss back and forth, make sure it gets deep into the tension disc, use my needle threader. The needle threader, a reminder that it, it helps you know if your needle was put, put in high enough when you um, last changed it. So get in the habit of always using your needle threader. To start it up again, push the start button, hold on to the thread, count to three, one, two, three, and pull it out. And then we'll let this last color stitch out and we'll see our quilting design done. Isn't that beautiful? It's amazing how quick a design can stitch, especially a quilting design. When you're done, you can go ahead, take the hoop off the machine and go ahead and touch to embroidery edit. And then that will take you out. To delete the design from the screen, you can select it and touch the trash can. And now you're ready to start a new design.